Welcome back to another Subi Shades video with me on a beautiful day. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind, guys. Squad goals. Thank you so much for clicking into the video and for joining me today. I am absolutely thrilled, guys. I cannot tell you how excited I am to be doing this. I have been waiting for this shave for weeks. I've been anticipating. I've been excited to do it. And today, guys, we're going to try them out. We're going to battle them. I know it's been done before about a million and a half times. But we're going to get it done. We're going to be doing the Vector. Uh, this is a Blackland Vector versus the Hawk. And this is the A-Plate Hawk, guys. We're doing the Aggressive Hawk versus the Vector. And I am so excited. I cannot wait. And here's the thing. So you may wonder, you're like, wait, wait, what, what's going on with the finger? Guys, I have to admit, we're doing this with a small cut on the hand. And to keep things nice and clean, we're going to use a little bit of a, a guard here. So this is for your benefit and for me. So I'm really excited today, guys. I'm thrilled. I can't say how much. I really do appreciate each and every one of you for clicking in and throwing me some love. Guys, today we're going to be rocking A&E. This is A&E SoCal Hipster. Absolutely awesome scent. If you've not smelled this, guys, it is fruity pebble goods. It is fruity, 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 tooty, and delicious. I love this scent by um, Peter, guys. Really, really nice scent. Very, 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 I just, it's a fun, bubbly, like, kind of fruity scent. And I love it. And I think, guys, it pairs perfectly with Chiseled Face Banana. This came by my boy and my buddy Charles, guys. This is the Chiseled Face Banana scent, guys. And it, let me tell you something. It is banana crazy, guys. It's, it's so good. It smells like those, like, uh, candies, the banana candies. Really beautiful. And I think it's going to pair really well with SoCal Hipster from Amy. Really beautiful. And again, this is Chiseled Face banana guys banana there it is um we're gonna be rocking aventus or like aventus glow on top guys we're using intense man club noir and i've already got everything lathered up and already on the dome guys i did that kind of for my benefit more than your guys benefit today because my head my hand right my lathering abilities my hand being cut is a little bit a little bit lower than i would like and what i would want to showcase but take a look there you guys go beautiful wag all day long look at this and let me tell you something this stuff is hydrated and it smells so good. Look how easy it paints onto. Love this stuff. Oh, from Peter. Let me tell you something. It's not Kaizen 2 in the, um, I don't have the Kaizen 2 base, but the old stuff's still phenomenal, guys. My opinion here, a and &E's old stuff still claps, guys. It still slaps and claps. All right, let's get this done. Again, I'm doing this a little bit different, guys. You'll notice I'm using Henson handles. Henson handles here, and there's a reason why, guys. I wanted to use the Henson handles because it offsets the weight to the point where they're almost identical. Almost identical. We got the titanium Henson handle here and the aluminum one on the Hawk side. And the reason we're doing that, again, is to keep things as close to uh, even as possible. And I want to really, really test this out. We're going to be using some Kai Captain Pinks. These are the milds, guys. I love these blades. Let's get it done. I'm going to get in here with the aggressive Hawk to start things out. We are on 26 hours of growth, guys. Take a look at just how hydrated that lather is, guys. Absolutely phenomenal stuff. Love that stuff from Peter. Now, the Hawk in the aggressive plate, guys, for me, for me, is not ultra, ultra aggressive. And you guys can see here, I'm knocking it down. It's having no problems. And I don't find it to be overly, like, blade filly or too aggressive for me. That's a for me situation. But you guys can see here, it definitely has enough fill where I can get in and really get a good shave, very accurate shave, very comfortable shave. Wow. I forget how good this razor is. I really do forget, and I really miss my thumb. I won't lie to you in this shave, guys. I am having to do this kind of, I feel like, uh, I don't know, I feel like someone else is shaving my head for me. Take a look here. Take a look at the, take a look at the efficiency here and whacking it down, guys. Whacking it down. Feels really nice. And again, this is on pretty, oh, wow. Yeah, really, like, I'm amazed at how much stubble this takes down with how little um, of a kind of skin presence that it has. It's not a razor you want to press. And again, guys, these are razors that I highly recommend not pressing. And I like um, AC blades when they're a little bit lighter, guys. When they're a little lighter, I seem to get a better shave. Now, again, this is not my razor. This is John's. So huge shout out, guys. Massive Subi smile to John for making this possible. I am really, really happy to still have this razor to test out and to compare to the Vector. Now, some of you may have noticed or seen my Subi short recently on the Vector. My Vector had problems, guys. It had issues. It was not happy and it never released the blade. And I did a video on it, on a way that I was making it work. Turns out that way, it really shouldn't have to happen. And there is a res resolution. So if your razor, guys, 
the, it's, it's a vector and it has seesawing action. Go check out my Subi short. I have a way um, that uh, Shane actually shared with me to fix it. He said, you know, this is the way that we would recommend you fix it at home and it should resolve any issues with it holding the blade. I have noticed since I did that, guys, that the um, blade seems to sit better and more flush. Here's the weird thing. Look at all that stubble, guys. You see all that stubble coming off? This is the vector side, guys. And the vector, for me, and keep in mind, I'm using the aggressive hawk here, guys. I know some of you are like, no, it's not the aggressive one. Where is this A, dude? Where is this A? Where is this A? I want to show you guys so you believe me. Because I know I'm going to get told. I'm going to get comments and everybody's like, oh, it's not the aggressive. Let me, it is the A plate, guys. It is the A plate right there. It says up here, right here. It says A. It means aggressive, right? For me, the hot, the vector actually has more fill. You guys can hear, right? More fill. These are both brand new blades. And I'm actually able to probably fill the um, the head cap just where it's going a little bit easier on the vector. Just a titch. It has a little bit more skin presence and a little more skin fill. Weird. I think I'm actually getting a slight, like, equal shave. But the vector for me seems to be kind of, it seems that, I know this has been done a hundred times and everybody comes to the same conclusion. They're like, the, the vector is a nicer, closer, comfortable, more comfortable shape. It's weird. It's not, it's not nicer in my opinion. And it's not more comfortable in my opinion. It's definitely um, just a, a preference thing. I actually can fill the blade a little bit more. And I feel like I'm a little bit more accurate with this razor. The vector on the vector side, guys. Kind of interesting. Very interesting, actually. I thought it was going to be the other way around. I really like the Vector after the fix. After I fixed it, guys, it's a much, much more capable shape. Much more capable. And again, keep in mind, I'm doing this without the real ability to fill my thumb. So this is kind of throwing things off even slightly. And I'm still getting a phenomenal shape, guys. Phenomenal shape. Wow. Effortless. Effortless on the vector side, on the against the grain pass, guys. I love how effortless that feels. This is the stainless version. And guys, I want to keep something in, in, in kind of in the open here, right? In the open, the vector is substantially more money, right? You can get a Hawk for like, what? What is it? 50 bucks? 60 bucks? Okay, it's $70. $70. Now, I really think about it, depending on if you're going without a discount or a deal, right? But Keep in mind, the Vector is 200 and some odd dollars, guys, 225 bucks. So it's expensive, right? So when you look at it, it's closeness, comfort, and cost, right? Cost is definitely going to be something I consider. Um, that definitely weighs into it. And the Hawk was doing a really good job of getting me a close, comfortable shave that's equal. I would say it's definitely equal. We're going to find out. I'm not positive. I have not ever shaved with them side by side. So we're going to find out. I know IMCDB did, and he liked the Vector more. I know, um, I'm trying to think, John did one, and he said he liked the Vector more. I know a lot of people mentioned they like the Vector more. Why? I really think it's because the small head makes it a little bit more nimble and a little bit easier to fill. It actually has just a titch more blade fill for me. Really interesting. Wow! You would not expect that, guys. I would not expect going into this thinking to myself that the Vector was going to have more fill to it the Vector definitely has just a titch more fill than even the Aggressive Hawk. Now, it does not have as much fill as the uh, Open Comb Hawk side. But if I'm to fill these guys, man, this side feels more close. This side does feel a little, just an ever slightly more close. We're going to find out. I'm going to re-lather, and we're going to find out, guys. That's how we do the battles. You know how we battle. We actually are going to reshave over the same area we just shaved and see if we're able to get anything off. I'm amazed. I'm really quite amazed at how different those feel with the exact same blades. Quite different, guys. Quite different. And both, I would say, are very good shavers. I do not think you could say that either or are bad, right? I do not think either or are bad. And when it comes down to, you know, making your den something that is uh, versatile and different and differentiating, guys, I, I, I think both are awesome. I honestly, I would love to own both razors. Um, it has not happened yet, but it probably will, right? I really like the Hawk. The Hawk's an awesome razor, guys. Really quite nice razor. Wow. Okay, on this side, we're going with the Hawk. We're going to see how it does. It is an ice skate, as I kind of presumed. Wow, yeah, really, really close on the on the vector side here, guys. Really close. Wow, you guys seeing this? Look, it doesn't feel like I'm doing anything. I mean, it really doesn't even feel like there's a blade in there. 
Very smooth, very comfortable. And again, this is the V3 um, solid stainless steel head, mated with the brand new aluminum. Um, and this is the aluminum Henson handle, guys. And again, that is just to keep the weight equivalent. That is not to say that I like the handle over you know other options. It's just to keep things as equivalent as possible. We didn't get anything off, guys. It was glass on the one side. So let's get on this other side and see how it does. You guys seeing this lather? Who, who here is like sitting there like, that lather is nice. This lather is awesome, guys. Oh, I love this stuff from Peter. Now, this side does still feel pretty close. We're going to find out how it does. It definitely feels like a, like, a, like an ice skate still. Just a bit on that one, maybe. I think I may have gotten a little bit off on that side. Yeah, guys, take a look here. Just a little bit of stubble coming off on that side. Just a teeny tiny bit. You see that? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I, mean, I think it's because I'm able to get the angle just a little bit easier with this razor, with the with the vector side. I really am shocked. I know a lot of people said, you know, the vector best SE that they've ever used, and I've heard that a lot of times. But when it comes down to the actual shape, it's just a little bit, I think, a little bit closer for me on the vector side. And I think a lot of that is attributed to... Um, to the small head. It makes it really easy to get around with. Really nice. Definitely comfortable. Wow. And I, I, what I'm really impressed with is how close the Vector shaves. Very close shaver, guys. Wow. So yeah, it is more money, but I really do think you get a good product. Mine did have problems, but those problems are easily remedied. And I think that's the biggest, look at look, guys, you guys see this. This is crazy. That's what it's doing on top of what the Hawk did. Look, look at this. That's wild. That is absolute absurdness, guys, if you ask me. That is absurd. Oh, regardless, I can tell you guys this. That is a glass freaking shave, man. That is a skittle me tastic over the rainbow. Give me a bowl of only marshmallows kind of shave. Wow, yeah. I felt that as I rubbed my hand across my head, I was like, perfect. Oh, yeah. What do you know? You know, I wasn't going to film this. I was not going to film. I'm like, I got a cut on my hand. I don't know if I'm going to film. And I was like, I'm doing this. I am going to do the battleship and I'm going to share it. Thank you guys for being here with me. That's really what it's about, man. Even when we're down and out, we are still swinging. We're on the ropes. We're coming strong, guys. That's the way it's got to be. Wow. What a shave. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. I want to test this out with a little bit of um, a little bit of the splash. Find out how we did. But before we do that. Let's grab a little alum here. I'm really curious. This is the alum stick. We're going to go on both sides and see if either side, keep in mind, we shave both sides, guys, on top of each other. So we're a little bit overshaped. We should have some irritation. I mean, there's no irritation on either side. I would definitely say the Hawk had no issues with keeping me very comfortable and very close. But the Vector just got that little bit slightly closer, guys. Just a little bit slightly, a little more close. We're going to go on top of that with a little bit of the banana from Chiseled Face. Interesting. Equal dispersion on the fire there. Equal dispersion on the gasoline, guys. I can feel burn, but the burn is very nice, very level, and it's all the way around. It's not really something I would say it's on either side. So there you go. I, for me, I got a closer shave with the Vector, guys. For me, I think it's easier to maneuver. I think the closeness and the comfort side of things, the comfort's about equal. The com um, closeness, I think I got a closer shave with the Vector, just slightly. But that's for me. I know there's a lot of guys out there that have sold their Vector and gotten the new Hawk, right? The V3. For me, guys, I want to mention this. The Vector shaves much better now it's been fixed. Mine did not shave this well with the broken head on it, right? With the with the, with the with the dent, with the bent head on it. Now that it's straight and level, so fantastic shaver. So if you're not getting a good shave with the Vector, maybe look into that. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. This was a lot of fun. I love doing it. I hope you enjoyed the video content. I'll catch you guys in the next Subi Shave video. Subi! <laughs>